Welcome to debugging the NEOS 5 processor using the RISC-free IDE for Intel FPGAs. NEOS 5 processors give users access to industry-leading tools for the ecosystem. As part of the growing NEOS 5 ecosystem, the RISC-free IDE for Intel FPGAs is the new Eclipse-based integrated development environment for creating embedded applications on the NEOS 5 soft processor. It is available starting with Intel Cordis Prime Pro software version 22.2. This video consists of five sections. The prerequisite, import a NEOS 5 project, build a project, debug configuration and download, debugging flow. For this flow, we will create and generate a design example based on the Intel Agilex development kit. For the prerequisites, users are required to prepare the binaries prior to this training. First, Users are required to extract the example design from the platform designer and generate the example design. Then, download the NEOS 5 design to the platform. Refer to the NEOS 5 Embedded Design Handbook under the Quick Start Guide section for more information. Import NEOS 5 project and build the project. We will be using the NEOS 5 Hello World application project for this training. Launch the application. and set the path to the workspace. Then, open Wizard for the new project and select C++ Project. Type your preferred project name and browse to the directory of the hello world.c and cmakelist.txt file. Then click Project Type, CMake Driven, Empty Project and Tool Change as CMake Driven, then click Finish. Now, in the Project Explorer, right-click the App folder and select Build Project. Once the project is completely built, the console prints are as shown. In this section, we will see how long the debug configuration and the application project is downloaded to the platform using RISC-free IDE. Right-click on the App folder in the Project Explorer and go to Debug As, Debug Configurations. Right-click on the Ashley Risk 5 Hardware Debugging with Auto Detect option and select New Configuration. Click Search Project for C, C++ Application and select Hello.l file. Click the Debugger tab, change the JTAG frequency to 16 MHz, then select the Debugger probe. Then click Auto Detect Scan Chain to detect the devices connected to the debug probe. Once the device is loaded, click the device with the NEOS 5 instance and select NEOS 5 for core selection. Click Debug to begin debug. Now, the application binaries will be downloaded to the platform once the debug is clicked. For the confirmed perspective switch, click Switch. The debugging connection is successfully established once the prints in the console terminal are as shown. In this section, we will see the typical steps on how we can debug the NEOS 5 application. To begin debugging, add a breakpoint to the main C code, which is the hello.c. Then use the step into to execute next line in the code step by step. Step over to move to next function without entering it. And then step return to return from function which is stepped into. These are executed after the breakpoint placement. You can also access browse the memory through the memory window. State a memory address to view the target memory in the memory browser. Instead of the debugging pane, users can also use the debugger console to debug. Change the debugger console tab, 
then type info reg to view the register values. To dump 16 words of memory in hex format, you can use the command below x forward slash 16wx 0x400. Moreover, you can also download the project again using the load command. You can type C to continue to run the program on the platform. For more information, please be sure to visit these websites listed here. And don't forget to download the risk-free IDE for Intel FPJs in Intel Core's Prime Pro software version 22.2 and get started today. My name is Steve and thanks for listening to this training.